Many of us are lucky to live in a home that is comfortable, affordable and safe. But for more than 1 billion people around the world, that is not the case. 10 News reporter Sean Franklin explores how research at Oak Ridge National Laboratory could help solve the global housing crisis. This process works very similar to the desktop 3D printers you can find at Staples or Office Max, but it's on a much larger scale. It's kind of those machines on steroids. 3D printing technology at the Oak Ridge National Lab is now being used to print tiny homes. Everybody needs shelter, and these processes allow you to do that. Brian Post is with Manufacturing Systems Research Group at ORNL. He says scientists first designed the pieces. A robotic arm then dispenses a liquid material and layer by layer creates parts for the house. This is an example of what the 3D printed houses could look like. The Additive Manufacturing Integrating Energy Project, or AMI, created the house in 2015. Heather Buckberry is a project manager. So what you see here is a collection of uh, C-shaped forms that were 3D printed. Researchers are using AMI to study different materials and energy to make the homes more affordable and used on a wider scale. You can use local materials and build structures cost effectively and quickly, um, there's a real opportunity there to really make the world a better place. A 2017 report by the World Resources Institute says there's a lack of adequate, secure and affordable housing for 330 million households. It says that number will grow by more than 30 percent to 440 million households or 1.6 billion people by 2025. You know, if we can develop technologies that, that can be used by, by homeless populations or, or people in disaster areas, then, then I think that's a real value. In Oak Ridge, Sean Franklin, 10 News. Post says the challenge is to make sure the 3D printed parts will be durable and cost effective enough for construction companies to use them in the real world.